Well, good morning, everyone. I hope your Saturday is off to a great start. Uh, just a quick reminder before we begin that this morning I'm asking everyone that uh, is listening to these videos, everyone that calls the Journey Baptist Church their home church, uh, to be praying for our nation where you are. Uh, this is not an event where we're gathering together at the property or, or anyone's home or anything. This is wherever you are this morning. Would you stop between 9 and 11 and join in agreement with the prayer march that's taking place from uh, across the Capitol lawn and uh, all the way to the Capitol building? Prayer for our nation. Our nation is hurting. Our nation's in trouble. And uh, we need God's people to rise up in prayer. And so, so here's, here's what I want you to notice, though. I saved this passage specifically for this day. It's in 2 Chronicles 7, verse number 14. And uh, it's a very familiar one because we use it every time we want something. Well, my hope is, is that people will understand that you can always surrender to the Lord. You can always return to the Lord, but not on your terms only on his. And I wanted you to pay attention to the terms this morning, because what he's asking for is not for people to say, oh man, I blew it. I need something from you, God, and getting what you want and then going back to doing it your own way. He wants us to return to him for real, uh, to return to him in a permanent way, in a very specific way. So let me read the passage to you and then just point out the very specific things. And, and I, before I read, I want you to hear this. This whole chapter is what happens after Solomon prays and asks God to create a sense of true uh, biblical relationship with him, to restore any breaches, to bring them in close to God. And then, he's, and then this is what God says to Solomon. Okay, so uh, after he has said, okay, people do wander away, but if, if they do wander away, verse number 14 says, if my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. Did you catch that? He said, if my people will, initially, if my people will just turn to me, I mean, they'll, they'll call out to me. They'll humble themselves enough to recognize that they have need of me. If they'll do that, starting off with, then, and then if they would seek God's face, tomorrow morning we're going to talk about seeking God's face uh, in morning worship. Tomorrow is let's get back to church Sunday. And I really want every person that calls the journey their home to seek God's face uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, we are going to call out to him in prayer, but we need to return to him in physical worship. But, but more than that, he says, seek my face and this is, and then turn from their wicked ways. Right now, we have a lot of believers that are trying to make wicked ways righteous ways when the Word of God speaks specifically about them. And I want to encourage you, pay attention to what the Word of God says. That's why we got to seek His face so we can know where the breach is. Do you realize that a nation loses the blessings of the Lord because of sinful breaches? Uh, we need to figure out where the breaches are in our personal lives. We need to figure out where the breaches are nationally, and we need to turn from our wicked ways. Uh, we need to turn uh, from our unrighteousness. And he says, as soon as you do that, I'll hear from heaven, and I'll come in and forgive your sins. That's the important part. We need to ask for forgiveness by turning from those wicked ways. He'll come in and forgive those wicked ways, and then he'll heal the land. Did you catch that? God's people have to start behaving like God's people before the prayers for the healing of our nation will ever take effect. He didn't say the wicked people have to turn to God and, and turn from their wickedness. He says that God's people, that my people, will humble themselves and pray and seek God's face and turn from our wicked ways. Then he will hear from heaven and forgive our sins and then heal our nation. That's way bigger than just Pop-Tart prayers being thrown up because we're scared. Uh, God doesn't want us to throw up Pop-Tart prayers because we're scared. He wants us to recognize our need for him, recognize that he is the one that has the authority to call for righteousness and holiness. And when we'll do those things, God will hear, forgive, and heal. I hope that that encourages you this morning. Don't forget to pray 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Don't forget to reserve your seat for in-person services this Sunday morning, either 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. I hope I get to see you tomorrow.